We're in Orlando, Florida for PRI 2009 and I'm with a company right now who's been building turbos for over 30 years. I'm talking about Turbonetics and I'm here with Tyler Tanaka, mate. I want to find out what's the latest development in the Turbonetics turbo range. Yeah, the main product that we're uh, really pleased to debut here at PRI is the forged billet compressor wheels. Uh, we've got a variety of different wheel sizes that we're introducing all the way down to street turbochargers, all the way up to the big 122 uh, full racing, uh, you know, 3,500 horsepower for a single turbo application. So very excited about that. What are the benefits of forging over cast turbo wheels? Well, two major improvements. Um, number one, a billet wheel is significantly stronger than a cast aluminum wheel, and a forged billet is even stronger than a standard 6000 series uh, billet aluminum. So we've got the absolute strongest possible aluminum that you can make out of these compressor wheels. And does that allow for different types of machining? Now what it does is it allows the compressor wheel to be machined uh, much differently uh, than a cast compressor wheel. You can make the nose and the hub significantly smaller, which means that you've got a greater blade width and it's going to flow more air and equal more horsepower. And then second, it allows the wheel to have a thinner blade effectively making the efficiency of the wheel go up because it has less contact with the air and less heat, and heat obviously robs power. And then the third thing, we can change the design of the wheel on the fly. Uh, because it's a billet machined wheel, we can make significant improvements in little areas and always keep improving the, the power and the performance and the efficiency of the turbocharger. So basically what you're saying is you've got a lot more blade area for the size of the wheel. That's correct. Right, so a billet wheel will always have more blade, it's going to flow more air than the cast equivalent will. So if you are limited to a class, let's say an 88 millimeter turbocharger for your outlaw racing, an 88 millimeter in our forged billet will make more power because it's got more blade area. One other unique design I noticed is that you've got the overlapping wheel as well. Yeah, it, the strength of the forged billet allows us to machine the wheel in ways that you can't make it with a cast aluminum. Uh, so it gives us a lot of flexibility in changing the shape, the pitch, the contour of the blade, um, always trying to increase in, uh, the performance and efficiency of the turbocharger. What sort of applications would one of these turbos be good for? Anything from a street car uh, down to you know two liter, three liter street car, all the way up into small block Chevy, big block Fords, um, anything that you want to make uh, you know, the most horsepower you can for a given turbocharger size, our forged billet's going to meet what you, what you want. You've definitely mastered the art of billet because you now even have a two-part billet ball bearing housing. That's correct, yeah, and the really large frame turbochargers uh, that we have, uh, we've got a 115 and a 122 millimeter turbocharger. If you're running extreme boost pressures, uh, especially for amazing drag racing uh, vehicles, tractor pulling, marine applications, we've got a stainless steel billet bearing housing um, that will survive just about anything. Part of your display down here is this fantastic front end of a 32 Ford. What's that all about? Well, what we wanted to showcase was what guys can do with common hot riding applications. So we took an LS3 small block and we put a display on with twin GTK turbochargers uh, just to give guys an idea of what's possible when they get creative for doing their hot rods. And this 32 Ford, I think, really showcases uh, what you can do with headers and all the parts and pieces uh, that Turbonetics can deliver for your force induction system. So we've got packages starting uh, to let guys turbocharge their small block Chevy and drop it into whatever they want. Well, there you go. They're covering everything down here at Turbonetics. Go and check it out for yourself on the web at turbonetixinc.com.